I'm so grateful I'm sober because I can take care of you. I know that your anxiety and your OCD are through the roof. When I was 14 and I took that first drink, it wasn't getting drunk that I wanted. It was the feeling of all that anxiety going away. Four months ago, mm -hmm. and I would've been drunk the whole time and I wouldn't be able to help her or deal with you or like prep this whole house. Wow. I'm scared. I haven't been scared. I've been sad, I've been angry, I've been depressed, but I haven't been scared until now. And I'm really scared that I'm gonna drink. Um, at which FYI, there's a bottle of tequila in there. I thought it would be fine. And now I know I can't keep it in the house. It has to go away. I can get rid of this now. But I just thought I could put it there in case no. we had people over. It's full and sealed, so proud of you on that. I don't know if there's any others. I haven't unpacked There's one more in here. I would just dump them. I swear to God, this was the... <laughs> this would not have been you dumping out 1942. This would have been out. like a that great night. That would be cer a ceremonial. I've drank an entire bottle of one of those myself. Yeah. It goes like this. Laugh, the laugh, laugh, bottle. cry, blackout, asleep. And by sleep, I mean pass you out. You just bypassed all of I know. That. I am 42 days sober today, or 43. Wow. I went to an AA meeting this morning that wasn't yeah. canceled. One of the big ones was. So, so far, they're not canceled, but they probably will be soon. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about all the hospitals and all of, like the centers like that I was in that have to close and let the kids out even though they that's so really need it. That's your anxiety. You need to stop doing that. Come to an AA meeting with me tomorrow morning. The one I go to in the morning, it's very sweet. It's like grandmas and grandpas with yeah. a lot of wisdom. So I was saying, I went in there this morning Kind of freaking out that I wouldn't be able to go to meetings anymore. And these grandparents, they're like but grandparents. I, been... No one is letting me talk! What, what? the f You guys are just, like, no one is letting me tell my story. Hey, okay. Sorry. Huh? This is horrible. I feel like I need to escape, but I don't know where to go. Because what I'm trying to escape is myself. And I am stuck here. What do you want to share, Sean? I want to hear what happened in the meeting. I am crawling out of my skin. So there's this one woman that I love. I ran into her and I said, I have had this amazing gift that I have gotten sober with a group of people around me all the time. I have had people watching me. And being at home with nine kids for the next month stuck in a house, that scares me. I'm going to be bored, which for me is the worst thing I can be, because that's when I make bad choices. And that's when that little voice is gonna say, you can have a drink, no one will know.